It would be very true if we say that the modern world is standing on the intellectual feats of seven ancient civilizations. All our modern ideas, whether they are about politics, economics, religion, or are social or academic in nature, have all emerged from those seven ancient civilizations, dating back to at least 2500 years in history. These seven civilizations include ancient Greek civilization, Persian civilization, Chinese civilization, Mayan civilization, ancient Egyptian civilization, the Indus Valley civilization, and the Mesopotamian civilization. For the part of this series, we will talk about the ancient Greeks and some of the famous philosophers and scholars from such a magnanimous civilization. But before delving into that, let's abreast ourselves about some unknown facts and their importance and relevance in our modern day life. Democracy, a form of government hailed high in the modern world order and even considered as the hallmark of our era, has its origins, foundations and the basic framework defined at least 3000 years ago by ancient Greek philosophers. The way we teach our kids, schooling them, asking them questions and discussing with them things in order to teach them and increase their curiosity, all originated in Greece. Even the word academy is actually the name of Plato's school in Athens. Believe it or not, the kind of thinking that most people do not do, called philosophy, was conceived in Greece at roughly around that time. The word philosophy means love for wisdom in Greek language. But why would they do the thinking which even our modern, sophisticated and well-connected men do not do? Or at least find it difficult to do? Part of the answer lies in the society and partly on the individual's quest and attempts to make sense out of the world around them and explain things in a non-religious way. Let's get into the introduction of some of the most influential people of whole of human history. We shall discuss Thales of Miletus, a man who tried to find the basic nature of everything in universe. Democritus, who believed that humans should find happiness and only live in happiness. Socrates, a famously ugly looking man with a beautiful mind, who would be going around questioning everyone in the streets of Athens. And his student, Plato, who struggled to find justice and its nature in the state and laid the foundation of the famous school called Academy. And finally, we shall be discussing Aristotle, the student of Plato and the teacher of Alexander the Great, who conquered almost whole known world of his time. Let's begin talking about these thought giants. Many of us perhaps know some famous Greek philosophers, but not Thales of Miletus. He lived before Socrates at least 26 centuries from now and is considered one of the seven sages of Athens. He was a Greek mathematician, astronomer and philosopher. Before discussing his philosophical thought, let's discuss a bit about his contribution to science. 
Thales is the first known person in human history who used the naturalistic theories and hypotheses to explain the universe. Prior to him, myths, magic, or religion was used to explain the world and natural phenomena. He hypothesized that water is the basic substance of the formation of nature and matter. In mathematics, he used geometry to calculate the heights of the pyramids and the distance of ships from bay. He reportedly traveled to Egypt and was bemused with the Egyptians' art of constructing the pyramids with exceptional precision. He used deductive reasoning in geometry for the first time and gave his Thales theorem. Now let's look further a bit into the man's life and philosophy. And perhaps a few of his quotes may well describe his philosophy. Number one, know thyself. Number two, the most important thing in the world is to know yourself. Number three, avoid doing what you would blame others for doing. And most importantly, number four, nothing is more ancient than God, for he was never created. Nothing more beautiful than the world and it is the work of that same God. Nothing more active than thought, for it flies over the whole universe. Nothing more stronger than necessity, for all must submit to it. If you could reread these quotes, you would most certainly be astonished on the fact that before the advent of all this modern day in life, full of stressful hours, disassociated lifestyles, and all this busy, career-oriented lifestyles. A man in ancient Greece, more than 20 centuries ago, expressed these thoughts. Know yourself. Thales died at the age of 78 while watching the famous Olympiad Games. Very, very unfortunately, None of his writings survived the tides of time, and all we know about him is through the writings of other ancient Greek authors, including Herodotus and Aristotle.